So Kellyanne Conway may have done something absolutely despicable. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. And I want to be careful how we talk about this because it's a very troubling topic. If you don't know who Kellyanne Conway is, she was one of the key voices of the Donald Trump regime, especially during Trump's campaign back in 2016 and in the early part of the Trump administration. But her husband, George Conway, is an anti-Trump Republican, one of the biggest names in the Lincoln Project. They have a daughter, her name is Claudia, she's 16, and she is anti-Trump. And this has led with a, to a lot of conflict with her parents and her mother in particular. And we've covered some of that on this channel, how she rejects Donald Trump, how she, for instance, blames her mother for giving the family COVID because she was at one of the big Trump parties where no one was socially distancing or wearing masks. And now, in addition to posting some TikToks of her mother yelling at her, there is now a story where Kellyanne Conway on Twitter posted a fleet, which is sort of a temporary 24-hour tweet, of Claudia not wearing a shirt. And again, Claudia is 16. She was uncovered, exposed, and she is not an adult. That is obviously not only deeply immoral, but also almost certainly illegal. And Claudia has been speaking about this, saying that, you know, she wants to handle this with her family internally, but she has also said in the past that, you know, when she's been asked to do that, it's been, you know, maybe due to some pressure on behalf of the family. And I want to be sensitive here, but I also want to recognize that, like, this just really goes to show, I think, the hypocrisy of, like, conservative social values, of conservative family values. I, I don't think it's off bounds to talk about the reality that these are the sorts of people that worked for the Trump regime that tied in with movements that were supposedly all about protecting families and protecting tradition and protecting children and protecting decency. And yet behind the scenes, they're all doing things like this. In a court of law, we really do need to hear more information. The argument likely would be that they had this photo and the photo was hacked off the phone and then posted without Conway's consent. But why would she even have the picture? The argument, of course, would be that one of the times that she took her daughter's phone, the picture was on the phone and then the picture would be taken off the phone through a screenshot or what have you by her mother. So even if the posting was accidental, why did the photo exist in her possession of a 16-year-old? Guys, like this is very serious. This is very serious stuff. I want everyone to be careful about how we talk about this. I don't want to sensationalize it. I'm not going to talk about anything in the photo. I haven't seen the photo. I don't want to see it. Neither should you person's a child but we have to be careful here and recognize that like the effects of 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 this of these of these policies of these ideologies of these administrations hurt people like we've already seen it kellyanne conway and her lies and misinformation and disinformation are not just theoretical when she lies and misinforms the american public it is not just Words on a television screen that disappear the second, you know, the camera goes off her. They have real effects on individuals she'll never meet. But as we've been seeing, real effects on her children. When she was invested in the lie around COVID, it really did create a situation where to keep up appearances, people like her had to go around Trump in dangerous manners and then take that danger home. It would not surprise me that that sort of behavior would translate into other violations of privacy among her children in a very fundamental way. We're going to keep an eye on this story. I want everyone to really, really give their thoughts and their prayer and their support to Claudia Conway. Um, in that sense, I think we should all be united in ensuring that this young woman gets the best possible life she can. And whether that's with this family or whether that's, you know, in a different situation, we should uh, hope that for the best for her. Beyond that, I, I just really want to underline that if you think that politics and evil politics come without consequences in people's personal lives, I think we're seeing otherwise.